Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. In today's video, guys, we'll show you how to test temperature sensor, coolant temperature sensor on Kia, guys. Any Kia should uh, should be covered in that video. Okay, so we're demonstrating on Kia for the guys, but the temperature sensor is being used on many models, and the procedure for testing should be the same. We will try to guys show you how to do that so you don't waste your money on a new sensor unless you need one. It's very important to know that it works because if it doesn't, uh, you can have quite a few problems because that sensor controls almost everything in the car depending on the temperature of the coolant. So let's show you how to test it now. So we'll be using a voltmeter here with the ohmmeters option. Okay, we'll set it at 20k first. That's the temperature sensor. We're going to connect the wires to the outside ones, okay? Outside and outside on this side. We'll put the insulation there and you will immediately get some reading. Now, what we did right here, we're going to put some ice cold water here and we'll test it in Celsius. Okay, let me just stir the water up a little bit for you so we can get accurate reading okay it's about five degrees celsius which is about 40 40 42 fahrenheit now i'm going to dip the sensor in this ice cold water okay and you're going to notice okay the reading going up and that's perfectly fine because right now okay we should read okay in our case we should read somewhere around 4000 and 5500 Okay, it still keep going up. So you can see we're at about 4.7, it's slowed down. So definitely good reading here between 4 and 55. Now, next water guys, okay, will be warmer. Okay, and let me again stir it up a little bit. Because on top will be colder. We have 40, 40, 45 degrees. Okay, 48, 45 Celsius. I'm going to dip the sensor in that 45 degree water. And now we should get somewhere between 9, okay, 9.75, okay, and about 1,000. We can switch back to the little numbers now. Okay, and you can see it's still dropping. between 9.75 and it will be probably about 10.5 okay right there on the spot so you can see that's perfect 9.75 to 10.50 now the next water we're going to test it again should be a little bit warmer okay 50 50 degrees at 50 we need to drop more okay at 50 degrees that thing should show somewhere in our case, it should be 750 to 950. Check it out. Perfect. About 770. It stopped climbing. Now the next one, we get to the hot water. Okay, and this one. is about 67 almost 70 degrees so this thing guys at 70 degrees should be 400 okay let me check quick 4 to 500 okay yeah. look at it it keeps dropping need to stir it up because it cools the water a little bit so <clears throat> right here it inspects again four to five hundred so you can see that sensor is definitely guys is definitely a good sensor okay and let me share with you okay the graph that tells you the temperature and all that stuff so you know what to expect this is the graph right here in celsius okay you can convert that in fahrenheit if you need to but you can see at zero degrees should be five to sixty five at fifty degrees Celsius should be about 75 to 95 at 70 degrees should be 4 to 500 and at 90 degrees when usually thermostat opens around 90 okay you'll be about 225 to 300 
So that's how you know if your temperature sensor is good guys. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.